Greetings, friend. The last classic Sudoku in any round of the Sudoku Grand Prix is usually the hardest, and it'll involve something like hidden pairs or naked triples that are hard to spot. I'm going to give you three valuable tips on how to spot and solve this puzzle using naked triples. If you don't know about the third tip, you'll probably get stuck when you try to solve this puzzle. Click below if you want to give it a go yourself. And with that, it's solving time. The first thing you might notice is you got a three cutting across rows one and three. You have this three coming up column six. You can solve for three right there. But these two threes and these two threes, you can solve for three right there. So some simple cross hatching will get you started in this puzzle. Look at the fives. You got a five in column in row three and row one, you can solve for five right there. Nice, and then we can look at the sixes and this is kind of interesting. You see how this six means that you cannot have a six in any of these three cells. You only have two more available cells here in row two. Well, there's a six already in column seven, so there's only one remaining place to put a six right there. Okay, we're coming up to our first naked triple. You might notice there's only three empty cells in block three. We're missing a seven, eight, and a nine. Well, the easiest way to solve this is you see these two eights right here. So you can solve that for an eight. And then if you see this nine in column seven, you can solve this cell for the nine and solve this cell for the seven. But this is gonna bring us up to our first amazing tip that you're gonna find very valuable about naked triples. It involves these three cells right here. You notice how there's only three cells remaining in row two and they're all in the same block. So what we have here is a one, four, nine. You already have a four in column three. This is a naked triple. But whenever it's in a row all together and in the same block, that's called locked. If it's in a block in a row or in a block and all in the same column, that's locked candidates. And what it means is you can eliminate those candidates from any other cell within the block and of course the row in this case these cannot be one four or nine anymore the only remaining candidates this could be would be a two and a seven so that's our first tip and trick this is very powerful you'll see this happen quite a bit and i cover naked triples and naked pairs in my free sudoku solving guide click on the pin comment below to get that and you can start solving puzzles just like this even better. Okay, this two and seven as a naked pair, since they're in the same column, also act as a pointing pair. So that means a two and a seven cannot be anywhere else along column one. And this is gonna be helpful for us because now this cannot be a seven. You have this seven right here. It's gonna create a pointing pair of sevens. And so what I did right here is called Snyder notation. Whenever there's only two possibilities for a candidate in a three by three block, you wanna mark it. And in case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other one right away for a seven. But what it does is it gives us a pointing pair. And what I mean by that is since the sevens have to be in block four, but they are limited to row six, then they point across the row and a seven cannot be anywhere else in row six. That's how the beauty of a pointing pair. And so what it means is with this seven, you can solve for seven right here in block six. Okay, after solving that seven, let's look at column eight. But you might notice something peculiar here. You see how there's a nine and seven right here, but there's no nine and seven in column eight. So that means that what you have remaining are four cells, two, seven, eight, nine. This has to be your two, eight naked pair because it can't contain a seven or a nine. And then we can quickly solve these two cells because you have a nine here in row seven already. So we know that's gonna be your seven and that's gonna be your nine. Nice. And that's just a neat way of finding a hidden pair, or excuse me, a naked pair to kind of help you get some more solving. You're gonna need this in this type of puzzle. All right, and now you see how this two comes down all nine. We can solve this cell for a two. And this two and the two right here. And then you have the pointing pair of twos coming down here. It means you can solve this cell for a two as well. 
All right, now we're going to shift back over here to column three. You see some restrictions here. We have five candidates filled in, a three, a four, a five, a six, and an eight. We need a one, two, seven, nine. Well, if I look across row seven, I can see a two, seven, and a nine. So I know this cell has to be a one, which will allow us to solve this cell for a nine. And then we can put a one, four there. And what we're missing is a seven and a two. Well, I know that the seven cannot be here because of this seven. So here's the seven and here's the two. And we can eliminate that Snyder mark. We were able to solve that pretty quickly. Okay, after coming up column three, now we're going to look and see that because we've marked this two, you can solve this for an eight. You can solve that for a two. And we're getting up to our next cool naked triple tip. Okay, but first we want to get some more solvent in here. You see how you have two nines here in row seven and nine. The only place left for a nine now in block seven is right here. So we can mark that for a nine. And then you'll notice you have this six cutting across and this six coming down. We can solve for a six right here. So whenever you start solving can, it's like these ones and twos. Look to see what it does to help you solve the rest of that block. Okay, and so this is up to my second amazing valuable tip about naked triples so right here you have a five eight seven naked triple remaining in block seven and here's my tip if you ever have one of the candidates that sees in this case the five sees two of the cells and then the other candidate overlaps on one of those cells that means you can solve all three you can solve all three of these cells guaranteed and what I mean by that? Well, this five sees these two cells and this seven sees this cell. So what that means is since you have this overlap, you know, it cannot be a five or seven. This cell has to be the eight. And since this five also sees this cell, this has to be your seven and the remaining cell is going to be a five. So that's my second tip. I call it my neat naked triple trick. It works. This is one of the variations, but I love it because you can solve three cells right away. Now, let's see what we can do. We got this eight cutting across row seven, eight cutting across row eight, and you got this eight coming down. So we can solve for an eight right here. And now we're gonna get where it gets a little tough here. And so we're gonna start doing some filling out. You may not be able to solve much right now. So you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of filling out. One thing we could solve though is, looks like right here, because you have a four and a five, remaining in column seven so we can actually solve this cell so let's solve this for six first and this is really cool all right i'm gonna give you a little bonus tip here what you have here is another naked triple a one four five and the tip is that a naked triple content can contain all by value cells because you have a one right here that can't be a one because you have a four right here that can't be a four and because you have a five right here this cannot be a five it's all by value cells, but it's in the three different combinations, a one, four, a one, five, and a four, five. So this is still a naked triple. The only three candidates that can fit in these three cells is a one, a four, and a five. That's gonna be a four, five right there. This is part of a one, five, six, and we already have a five in column six. And then this would be part of a one, four. And now you're looking at a Timberlake. Uh, we're getting a little slow here. I mean, you can fill in this four or five, but this isn't what I planned. I was hoping we could get some more solving going. All right, and we will be able to get some more solves here. I want you to look and do a little bit more Snyder notation. You see how this nine cuts across row one. You got a nine here in row two. You got this nine. So there's only two places for a nine. And so I'm gonna put a Snyder notation mark nine. If we could solve one of those nines, this puzzle will get much easier for us. And believe it or not, we're going to have a naked triple that's going to help us solve that. It's not so easy to solve otherwise. And to set that up, we got to look at a couple things first. First, you got to see that there's a three and an eight right here in row four. So that's a three and eight cutting across row four. And then you have a three and an eight right here in column two. So since the three and an eight are in this column and across this row, there's only two places left for a three and an eight right here. This is another hidden pair, three and an eight. And this is gonna help us out. Since you have a three and an eight hidden pair right here, and I'll put those 
and you have a two and a seven naked pair right there and put that in a different color well you only have two cells remaining and so this actually has to be a one or a four we can mark that pretty quickly to know that's a one or a four and then this would have to be a one four or a nine okay so let's clear up some of the colors wanted to kind of show that to you and now we're going to get to something that you have to see in order to set up the last naked triple because you're probably going to get a little stuck now if you know what you can do with these four cells and what you can solve that's a little bit of bonus extra credit put in the comments below and while you're at it subscribe to smart hobbies and tell us what you can do with these four cells but i'm not going to use that to solve this puzzle i want you to see something else instead look here and notice that the four and the five are limited to rows four and six here in block six and then you come over here to block four and you'll also know that the fours in particular the fours are limited to rows four and six in block four because of that three eight hidden pair and what that means is that the fours cannot be in row five here they cannot be in row five here so the fours are limited to row five right there and this i'm doing something i don't normally do but it's critical if you want to solve this puzzle the four can be one of three spots so instead of snyder notation i'm going to mark all three squares because i have to show you this in order for you to see the last valuable fantastic naked triple tip i want to give you and here it is sometimes you need to use claiming and pointing candidates in order to form a naked triple this is it because this is the only way you're going to make progress right here in this part of the puzzle so you want to see that you have a one six right there and that's interesting what can this cell be okay it can be a one but it can't be a two can't be a three it now cannot be a four because a four has to be in one of these three spots can't be a five can't be a six a seven or an eight this is a one or a nine okay a one six and a one nine if we can find another cell that's contained just one six and nine then we'll have a naked triple well we know a four could be possible in this cell it can't be that and so let's look right here at this cell what could this be well it could be a one but it can't be a two a three or a four because the fours are there can't be a five could be a six but it can't be a seven or an eight this is a one six nine and what do you see right here one six and nine in column six are limited to the same three cells and that means they're a one six nine naked triple this is awesome and you have to find this in order to make this happen and what does it mean for us it actually means that you might notice the nines are now going to be limited in block five to these two cells because it's not here this becomes a claiming pair of nines or an actually it works as a pointing pair as well and so now the nines have to be in one of these spots so these three squares have to be a two four seven now it can't contain a nine anymore we can get rid of the nine right there and solve this cell for a nine Hopefully you understand what I mean because one, six, and nine in the column are limited to the purple. It could no longer be right there. This is huge. Because what it's going to allow us to do is now with this one, six, nine, we're going to use this naked triple again. This cannot be a one because it has to be one of the purple squares. You have this one cutting across. We can solve this cell now for a one. And now we can start doing some more solving. This has to be a four that's a one that's a five that's a four okay and now with the four this is a five and you got this one you got this five that means this has to be a six that's a one that's a nine that's your six let's get rid of our colors and let's see what else we can do maybe we're not out of the woods yet we have to see how far we can go since this can't be a nine anymore there's only one place for a nine in block four so that has to be the nine and as soon as i get out of color mode I'll be able to mark it. Okay, what else can we do? We got these two ones. We got this one. Cut across. What can we do about that? First, let's get rid of that mark right there. Okay, you'll notice we have these two fives. We have this five. We can solve for a five right here. That means this is a four. That's a five. And because of this four, 
you know, this is a one, that's a four. That's a one that is a four. Nice. And now we have these two ones. These two ones, we can solve this cell for a one. Nice. And then you're looking for a three and an eight, cutting across row six. I have my three right here, so this has to be your eight. That's your three, that's your eight to figure out that hidden pair. Nice. And now, what do we have left here? Looks like we have a two, three, and a four. Well, I have a three and a two right here, so this actually has to be your four. And I have a three right here, so this is your two, that is your three. Nice. And now with this two, this is going to be a seven. That's going to be a two. That's going to be a seven to finish up row three and block one. And so we have three cells left. And we can use that neat naked triple trick to solve these three cells. We know it's going to be a two, a four, and a six. So I see a two and a six here, and I see a two repeated. So I know this is your four, that's your six, and our last digit is a two. I just showed you a little bit of what you could do with naked triples. Check out this other video to see even more applications of this amazing strategy. Please consider supporting me on my Buy Me a Coffee link. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.